Welcome to the Catalan Battle. We're opening packs. Oh wow. We got these rares and 76 more. I'm glad they give you that overview before you really know exactly what you're getting into. So the deck that we're looking at today is a very interesting combination. It is Jeskai uh, Prowess, kind of. We're seeking to do a lot of low-cost instants and sorceries and kind of get under other decks. I've not seen any gameplay from this event, but I assume there are going to be a lot of greedy little pigs trying to do fancy stuff with their life. Uh, and I've decided they don't deserve that. They don't deserve anything. So we're not giving them an inch. We're doing, I believe this list is 16 land. So I'm, I'm messing something up right now. But we don't allow them an inch. Maybe it is just 17 land. What am I doing wrong? Uh, am I running Storm Chaser Dream? Oh no, I'm running the uh, the blue-white prowess guy. Okay, there we go. Okay. He's not prowess. He has heroic. But the heroics are important for this list, because here's the theory. Okay. Surely this is intentional. We got Reckless Rage. Okay. Garbage card? No, not at all. You have Reckless Rage here? Combos with Hoplite. Combos with the Legionnaire. Combos with Hoplite, but he's different. Combos with Feather. Everything in this deck combos with Feather. All right. Uh, can end up being good with Virtuoso, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, so you play Spell Like Reckless Rage. Targets a creature you control. That does Heroic. It's also removal. Very cool. What else does that in this deck? Electrolyze. Badass. You can get two Heroics. You can ping something. You can, you can ping something and get a Heroic. Very good. Lots of good stuff. Uh, same story with Flames of the Firebrand, except it's a sorcery speed and it doesn't draw you a card. Uh, yeah, we have, you know, all the stuff you'd expect. Uh, Sprite Dragons here also. It's, you know, it's kind of mediocre, but I think it deserves, it deserves its place in this deck. It's probably going to do an average of like, what, four or five damage, which is really good for a two drop, and it'll eat some removal maybe. Okay, now for the lands. We run Grizzly Soul Fortress. I don't think we run Deserted Beach. Um, or maybe we do run Deserted Beach. Okay. We run Sundown Pass. We run Clifftop Retreat. Do we run Sundown Pass? No, we don't run Sundown Pass. We do run the beach. Uh, and that's because we want our blue later than we want our red. I'm smart. Um, we're running the Jeskai Triome because that's really good with the untapped lands. Uh, is that all the lands we're running? I believe we're running Stormcarp Coast and Sulphur Falls. Yes, okay. Uh, and the reasoning behind these is that blue is really a splash in this deck. Just a, just a pinch of blue, a little bit of blue makes the medicine go down. I think the blue really kind of ties the deck together. I think if you're going Boros, uh, you're running out of steam, and I think Slip Out the Back is a very important card in the deck, right? Because you want to be able to like Slip Out the Back your Virtuoso, and now you have like huge, huge value. All right. Um, I believe we cut a blue here. Because that puts us at eight red. Or no. I think eight red is enough red in this deck. We don't do anything more than a single red. So then I guess we cut a red. Non creature. I don't know. I can't think of anything good. Feather. I hardly know her. All right. These lands, they look good. We want to get those lands. Also, four draft tokens, I think, would make the decathlon things worth it. I don't know what the cat noises are for. You hear that? They do cat noises. That's uh, a critical part of the decathlon, I suppose. All right, match one. We're going against Poseidon 42. This should be easy. Mono blue players never do well. Got the uh, trident skin. Um, we're going to play first. Hmm. Not the best hand in the world, but I think it's a keep. Play on one, play on two. Um, might actually be a hoplite on one, because it attacks really well. Could also be Sentinel on one because Sentinel on one is always the right thing to do. 
Uh, looking for a blue for iteration on three. Uh, looks like we're going to be able to cast Feather with little issue. Hmm. I guess this is better if they have removal. This hand could be a little faster. Fable Passage. Absolutely unplayable card. Uh, I really would not mind them procking my Sentinel. I need to be able to find this though. Uh, it's possible I have to use Teamer Battle Rage. I, it's possible that I want to use Teamer Battle Rage just for the, the three extra damage next turn. Get with Passions, get a crack. It's a Swamp. Alright. So he's probably multicolored, which, you know, he should be in this cube. Wooden Cemetery, Hope Steel Heart, very good for me. That's one of the better things that could happen. If you keep it Okay, that's a good draw, but I'm really, really trying to feel the need for, for interaction. Like, I think I need to play the 10th district, I can't just like leave a Valor stance, but I could get like double removal tier, which would kind of suck, and he might even be able to pay Sentinel. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, Teamer Battle Rage isn't far from being able to give Trample. It's intense. Really, really looking for that blue cast iteration and slip out the back. Uh, if I draw a red or a white, I can do feather. Alright, he's probably going to pay for that. Fine. The two damage is really relevant. Wow, that's a really good draw. Really fortunate. Okay, so what are my options here? I could battle rage the hoplite. Let's me bonk for five and leave up slip out the back. Don't hate that. Do not hate that at all. Could also just run out Feather. Hmm. I think Feather's good here. Because I don't run out Feather, he can just like Murderous Rider. Which is probably... Uh, Murderous Rider is really bad here for me if I don't have Feather out. Feather I can start uh, churning out value with uh, Team or Battle Rage. And you slip out the back for protection, it's really, really good. But uh, we'll see if she lives. Fire Trite, that does not kill All right, Arcanist isn't bad here, but I don't think I'm using it for anything. Uh, there's no way for me to get up to four, which is a bit of a shame. Could iteration. I think I just want to swing and then battle rage whatever he blocks. And if he blocks nothing, just battle rage feather. But he'll probably block hoplite. Well, he could also block sentinel. Yeah, it might he might block sentinel, which kind of sucks. Because if he blocks sentinel, uh, then I have to battle rage the sentinel and I lose value. So I think I do it like that. Because Hoplite has the Prevent Damage Clause, so he's probably not going to want to block it. Like, he'll block Sentinel if I swing it from both. Um, yeah, I think I did like that. Oh, is he going to let me draw a card? Okay, no, he won't. Um, so Team of Battle Rage could go on the Hoplite or Feather. I could also just Iteration this turn, because I haven't land dropped. Hmm. So I can put him down to 7 if he doesn't interact. I think I want to do that, because I want to move up to the back. I should have checked breakpoints. It could be the case that putting it on feather does breakpoint stuff, but it doesn't. Alright. What's really interesting here is if I want to uh, slip out the back feather on end step. Because that turns on ferocious. Um, but it also obviously leaves feather open. Um, we'll see if he pays. Okay. Um, 
So I could slow out the back in response, but there's no reason to do that. Yeah. And I'm coming for you next. So we could slip out his train, but there's no need. We got really lucky with the Stone Park Pits this game. That was huge. Um, he's dead like six ways from Sunday and he's tapped out, right? Uh, no, we actually don't want to show him our deck. I guess it doesn't matter because he knows technically our pool. But I think we just do it this way. Sure. Okay. That's game one. It's pretty fortunate. Good draws. We're gonna be on the draw. Oh, do we want to like? I should have thought about this more. It could be the case that this deck is like really poor on the draw, and like you want to, uh, if you know you're going to be on the draw, like sideboard into like reanimator or some shit, something that's better on the draw. Yeah, I. I this is where you really need to know the cube because I don't know what counters him. Um. Token seems good against him, but he's also, he's kind of mid-range. My deck's not bad against mid-range, because I can respond to threats fairly easily if they're small. And if they're big, it's like, screw you, I'm killing you. And we're going to try this. I hate this format so much, because like, if I knew what was happening, if I knew this format... I could like sideboard into like what beats him. He might be sideboarding into what beats me right now, in which case, like he could be sideboarding into like uh, slightly faster mid range is really what beats me. Um, stuff with like well timed removal spells, um, less creature based combat. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like this is so meta dependent. But maybe he's playing against me sideboarding into what's good against him, so he's double sideboarding. And then he'll be shocked that I was dumb enough to keep Feather here. Intense stuff. He's thinking hard. I bet he's doing a whole new deck. Which is bad news for me. But uh, we're going to be on the draw game three. Or on the play, rather. Oh, gee, what will he choose? Um, I think we'll try this. Only one creature, which is not the best. That's, that's a really poor draw in this hand. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think we have to run this out here. We can't win for turn four. Dreadboard Invasion, yeah. Better Blossom. Unless he has Sacrifice stuff, in which case it'll feel like much better, better Blossom. I feel like he's got some jujitsu. Um. It's possible there that what I should have done is Defiant Strike on upkeep try to draw a, um, a mountain. Let's see. Reckless Rage is really good here if I have a mountain. Um, let's see. Let's make him suffer. Ooh. Good draw. God, I'm so smart. My IQ is so high. Um, so he's gonna target the hoplite. I can either god tooling it or feed it. Um, feed is good with Arcanist because I do need Arcanist to get up to two. So that kind of says god's willing. 
I draw a mountain, what am I gonna do? Probably Arcanist go. So in that case, I think I do God's Will and leave up feet. Ooh. Interessante. I think I have to keep that for Scry 1 draw. It's pretty good. Oh, I'll give it for black. Zero percent chance he doesn't walk. Yeah, yeah. Invasion's putting in the work. I really, really would like a red here. I mean, we're getting to the point where it might have even been right to like feed of resistance the hoplite for black. Just a boop him for nine. But. I just lose so hard to a uh, red stop. Red, red, red. Yeah, that's not red at all. Maybe I should have feet on upkeep. Hmm. Huh. That's an interesting thought. I have one turn to kill Drana before she's too big. Arcanist is gonna be huge because it can God's willing the uh, hoplite. But I really need this reckless rage to work. Or maybe I guess next turn I probably wouldn't even reckless rage. I'd just Arcanist. Damn. Okay. All of them on Drana. Not all of them on Drana. Interesting. I don't know if I like that play for him. I mean, it does really mess with my Reckless Rage ideas. I shouldn't have cut a red source. I'm at eight, though. Damn. All right. I mean, he didn't sideboard into a different deck, but his deck isn't that good against mine. Because it's, it's slow. Well, and it has got some stupid dumbass dark orb invasion pulling all the weight for him. Uh, I mean, it's starting to become like Reckless Rage with the zombie time, really. Okay. That's like way too slow. Can we win if we do that play? Um, Drawn will hit for six, so I lose in two turns. If I have Rogren, I could next turn Reckless Rage something. Rip apart the hoplite gets me a 12. That's not lethal. I think I need red this turn. Yeah. I mean, that's what it takes. I guess I could also Dreadhorde Arcanist. He probably has removal is the worst part. 
but there's nothing I can do about that. All right. I guess this is the weird part. So I want to spend this killing the zombie. Yeah. Then reckless rage hits. Yeah. Unfortunate without the land. Maybe I should get on white. He's taking literally all of his damage from Dread Horse Station, I believe. Because I don't think I've gotten through. Yeah. No scoop. Okay. Um, slip out the back isn't the worst idea in the world. Neither is Ether Channeler. Alright, let's do land revision real quick. We've got nine white sources, eight red sources, and six blue sources. Um, hmm. Depo Deputy of Detention is an interesting idea, because that eats the invasion for breakfast. Hmm. <laughs> Might be Essence Scatter. Or not Essence Scatter. I think Negate's better than Essence Scatter here. Could be Negate. Just to make sure I get, like, tempo. Because I only have, like, three projection spells. Negate's probably better than Flames of the Firebrand here. Because he actually doesn't have that many targets for Flames. Yeah. Hmm. I guess we do want more red than white. Because we have the pyromancer. But feather is the opposite, so I don't know. Alright. Game three, it's intense. Ooh, now we're both starting at 20. Last time we both started at zero. Um, no creature. I think I have to maul. Like, if I drew Hero of the Tenth District or whatever that card is, I just went off this hand. But I think I have to. Okay, I think you're forced to keep here, but uh, this is a very interesting hand goes like that, I believe. I guess since he took him on, maybe I could have gotten a little bit of time, but I don't know. Okay, that is, uh, that is not the card we wanted to draw. Okay, that's good. Give me a card. Mm, not the card I wanted to draw. Ooh. Ooh. Best thing for me. Ooh, not the card he wanted to draw either. Okay. So we're in it. I'm gonna look at her. Okay. 
Uh, this could be a pyre game, right? Pyre for um, cycling. Please no land. Please no land. Please. No land. I'm begging you. One time, one time, no land. No land. Please. Okay. You're not the king, but I really wanted that guy, but... Yeah. We'll get over it. Um... Go to Homestead Courage Valor and Stance. No, I can't. Good Homestead Courage Team or Battle Rage. I like Homestead Courage because it forces them to keep paying. Actually, it could be Cathartic Pyre, Discard Mountain, Homestead Courage. Could er, mm. Yeah, I think that's the play, actually. It could be discard Battle Rage, Homestead Courage, but I think Battle Rage is important with the Hoplite, especially against the invasion. I mean, so is Homestead Courage, but I guess maybe it's Electrolyze here, actually. Yeah, because we need blue for that anyways. Good. Um... Probably do Courage in here. I could courage it, or I could save the courage for the Legionnaire. Like, first pick of courage on Legionnaire. The question is, will it, like, make a difference with Esper Sentinel? So we do really want the Hoplite to get good. Or, I mean, the Legionnaire is just strictly better than the Hoplite. Huh. So it's either Homestead Courage the Sentinel, or Homestead Courage the 10th District Legionnaire, next turn and then have it for an extra turn so I can help set courage and keep racing the zombie. I think that's better. No land, no land, no land. No! Really want an island here. That would make me feel very comfortable. He swings! He does not swing. He swings! Okay, you're not on the island. So my options here are Homestead Courage. I could spread the love. I could just leave up Valor Stance, but I think that's a recipe to lose. I think I need to, like, dip my toes in the pool at some point. I'm feeling removal, but like, it is what it is. Like, honestly, even against removal, uh, this is still very winnable, because Dreadhorde Invasion is going to whittle him down, and then it's winnable with like Hoplite, Team of Battle Rage nonsense. I might have to. Okay, that's fine. Give me a card. I might have to stun the mana and the Valor. I might, I'll probably have to spend Valor and stay up to the army. But you know, happens. Like here, I I could just kill the army right now, get it over with. Now nah, then he gets another token. This Esper Sentinel has been like absolutely negative, mana. like just a bajillion mana. He's at four, so he's on a four-turn clock unless he has like because of the invasion. Who's the control deck now? Uh, if I Valor stance the Hoplite, I'll be able to team or battle rage it for value. Murderous Rider. Ooh. Okay. If there's no land drop, we gotta start thinking about lethals. Okay. So I don't think there's any like packs or stuff in this set. Okay. So, yeah, that's lethal. That's like uber lethal. I don't need to trample. Right, because we kill this, then we have enough for team more battle rage and slip. Nope. Literally the easiest. 
busiest game of my life. Definitely didn't uh, win off the one lander. I think he played that wrong, to be honest. I, I really don't think that he should be casting stuff into my Esper Sentinel when he knows I'm on one land. I think that's wrong. Because he, he had the uh, Dreadhorde invasion. Like, if he just, like, stays at parity there, he wins. Uh, but he kept, he kept going for it. Which, like, good for him, I guess. So, yeah, that's the stack. Well, I hope the deck we played against is meta. Besides that goddamn Dreadhorn Major. There's no, like, enchantment tech, is there? Besides Rip Apart. It's like, I could main board enchantment tech, because that card's annoying as hell. Selenia. Nickel Ball this game. Ooh, he's on the play. We start at zero this game. Uh, this hand's a little sketchy, but I think we'll keep it. This hand is good against the aggro. I can sometimes trick myself into only wanting to play these things untapped, and it can make you move out on precious manas. Um, which is better here? Like, who do I want to throw to the wolves? Because something's going to get eaten. Oh, is Bonecrusher Giant in this format? Hmm. Because if Bonecrusher Giant's in this format, I might not want to play anything. So it's this either way. Hoplite's better if he like plays a two drop and leaves me alone. So I think the theory here is that Sprite Dragon is better in conjunction with Bolt on turn four. So I probably want to play Hoplite right now. Archfiend. Fine. That was lame. You know that? I wanted to play a 2 toughness creature this turn. What would you look at that? Tumor Battle Rage is good. Good raffle mana. Uh, would like here to draw season pyromancer or protection spell. I think it's safe to assume that like every black deck is running murder shredder. Could battle rage it. Zonkin four. I feel like battle rage is better later. Cause this this dragon might not last too long. If I draw season pyromancer, I'm gonna probably wish that I spent battle rage earlier. Probably just gonna let that do the whole thing, right? <laughs> Seasoned Pyromancer. Um, 
I might actually want to discard Team of Battle Rage here. To get the 1 1. Nah, surely this does more than like the 2 damage a 1 1 will do. Well, I have ways to kill the dragon. Okay. He might just like wield the whole hand to get closer to the ox. It's not the worst play in the world. I'm really scared of that ox now. Wow. Okay. He's got gas. No way. Discards one card. And it's not even like a bad card. Or a land. He has like the, the desired amount of land. That's very strange. Oh, okay. Wait. Fine. So he has no land that I found. What? Dude, no way. No, he played wrong or he drew that off of Jaya. Yeah, he must have drawn him off of Jaya. Okay, we understand. Ah. Uh... What's the graveyard tech look like in this set? Uh, really need another way to like buff this so that Team of Battle Rage is good. But I guess the Team of Battle Rage is horrible anyways. Ugh. Ugh. That's not good. be that. I might just let him trade. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he's reanimator. Okay. No blocks, please. Pretty please. No blocks, no blocks, no blocks. Don't do this to me. Eh, you're mean. We're gonna need expressive iteration next turn. He's not running green, right? He's just trying to ditch Titan into the graveyard. Yeah, he's like super in there. Okay, so he's running like late to lunch and shit. Um, could you play control and like tech against every one of his reanimation spells? Dude, that's not good. You could also just go like reanimator on the play. Beats reanimator on the draw. <laughs> that might actually be the plan. Cause like he's probably gonna fix his deck to be mine. I just go screw you, I'm reanimator. Like he's gonna put in like stuff that deals with Dinkly creatures, right? Which I don't know, maybe his deck is already full of. But we just, we build Reanimator, we have a tech against big stuff and like Reanimator. And if there's any graveyard hate, we do that too. Yeah. You honestly trust my opponent's deck building skills. I feel like I can beat him on the play. Hey, 